This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 11 of the Lantern tutorial. So here's a big render I did just to see what we have so far, and it actually looks really good. I mean, aside from the wall and stuff, but uh, this uh, screen added a pretty good little bit of detail in here. Still got to do a little photoshopping to chop it off and make it only six panels wide, but still. Uh, that looks excellent. The um, lantern itself is looking good. Again, we still have to do some texturing in here and finish up a few things, but uh, it's coming along nicely, so let's continue, I guess. So going back in here, I decided that instead of having a picture, I guess, it'll be, um, okay, well, it will be a picture. It'll have some writing in it, I guess, is what I'm going to do in the end. So this is an editable poly. Let's inset this to make kind of like a, well, a frame, I guess, and we'll extrude it back in a bit, okay, and then what we're going to do is, let's see, W, we're going to shift drag this plane out, clone it to an object, and scale it down a bit. Alright, so that we get the kind of papery looking. And we'll just position it right in there. And then we'll select this. And let's go to Edge. Actually, we can isolate this selection here. Select. Actually, we want everything here. Ring, connect, two connections, and bring them out like so. All right, and then top. Let's also connect here. I think. So, connect two and bring these pretty close. All right, and lastly, select these loop ring chamfer, and we'll give these a little chamfer. Okay, and then we can apply mesh smooth to this. And oops. Got one thing here. So select this, inset, and just inset it by a little bit. That's actually pretty good. Alright, now mesh smooth should work. Um, almost. What is wrong here? Let's select one more edge. So loop, ring, or sorry, ring loop, ring loop. Hmm. Maybe just ring. And we'll just do it. Let's see. Connect. One. Okay. Yeah, that'll do it. So let's go in here and do it for the other four sides and select it Z, there we go um, ring connect alright, go in here um, ring connect and finally over here See ring and connect. Now we'll have a nice looking uh, kind of board here. Exit isolation mode. Although we do have some issues, so let's actually go back in isolation mode. There's something wrong with the uh, corner here. So Z. Oh. 
So select these and let's actually kind of drag them a bit and see if that will solve the problem. Hmm. Not really. Um, hmm. Wonder if we can just Yeah, no that won't work. I'm trying to find a way to combine these. Let's try target welding. And let's see if that works. No, that's just about the same. Hmm. Well, now, this is a problem, isn't it? So let's undo that. Um, and select this. Grow. And delete. Like this and cap. See how just that looks. That was what we had before, wasn't it? And this easy piece is proving challenging. All right. Well, let's see what can we do here. Hmm. I think it was just the way I made it was a bad decision. Hmm. Yeah, I should have had the lines going like this, up and down. All right. Uh, let's try to fix it a different way. So connect to ninety nine, and then let's try it this way. See if that does anything. Ah, perfect. What do you know? All right. So that'll do it for us right there. And actually, I think if we want to, we can make that even better by. Uh, moving this closer in doing the same on the other side and let's try on the top and on the bottom all right this should give us a little smoother result and it does so there we go good and we'll actually give this piece of paper here a slightly different color I guess there we go just so we can see it whoa all right so that's done uh, next we can what can we do so we finish the little picture thing I guess we can work on this door here. So let's see. We're gonna need to select these two. Connect. Left, no, front, yes. So make two segments. And let's see, go into your vertex mode and just drag them over. Line them up with the door. Okay, and then go this way and connect with only one segment and drag it up to here. All right, there we go. I'll go back into your perspective and we can delete that and we should be left with a door right here so we can delete that. 
There we go. Now we have our door. If we go to our camera, it uh, works pretty good. You can see, we well, can't see anything, I guess, is the point. So, uh, actually, camera. There we go. Next, we're going to want to. Let's see. Let's kind of make a little door frame. Um, so let's select this edge and we're going to want to loop, no, 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 ring, connect, let's just slide it down to make a frame, I guess, okay, select this edge, connect, make the frame over here. And last but not least, do it on this side. Connect. And make a frame over here. There we go. Now it won't be quite perfect because the bottom will be the bottom will be a little bit off, but oh well, it'll be close enough. And finally, select these three edges here. We're gonna drag them a little bit out the other way, just to give them some thickness. And then we're going to scale them out uh, to make the impression of a door frame that way. Again, that's just for the basic look. It won't actually affect anything. It's just part of the scene. So let's extrude this uh, ever so slightly. OK, you don't want it too thick. Next, select this edge, loop, and these two, and these two, chamfer, okay, give it a slight chamfer, let's see, that'd be good, and then just because I want it a little bit rounder, I'm going to chamfer it again. Get it right. Let's try zero zero one. That'll be good. Okay. And next, select these edges on the inside. Oops. And chamfer. And okay. Uh, next, let's select all these little edges here, and we're going to chamfer the walls. You don't really need to worry about these ones in the back, but just in case you want to look from a different angle. Um, it's always good to have them done. One, two, three, chamfer. This will just break up the... Uh, hard edge of the wall. Okay, perfect. So that's done. There's our basic door frame. And what we're going to do here is actually separate it. Actually, how should we select? Grow, grow, and then detach. We call it door frame. Okay. That way we can give it a different material. We'll actually just assign it this wood material temporarily. And I actually don't know if I'm going to even put a door in here. I, I said I was going to put one, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Um, next, let's work on this piece right here. We're actually going to want to give this a bit of thickness, so control A, we'll just extrude it a little bit, because these do actually have thickness, All right? and that's about all we need to do there. I also figured out these things are around uh, 2 meters tall, so I'm just going to quickly measure it and see how close we got. So. 
Wow. Okay, well the one I saw online was two meters tall, but I think for our scene that's it's kind of pushing it. Why is the height here? Hmm. I guess we can stop there, and uh, we'll continue in the next part.